let's see, right across. And the seals have been broken. So what's up, Lego fans? Welcome to my channel, Pete's Bricks, the Lego channel for the common Lego fan. And today I have come to a pretty tough decision, and that is to open two desirable and rare sealed Lego sets that I have. One is Ray the Castaway, and the other is the Forest Hideout. Both of these are GWPs. A GWP is a gift with purchase. That is, you can only get them at the Lego store if you spend so much money during a special promotion. So if you spend so much money, you get these for free. And because you have to reach a threshold to get these for free, it makes them pretty valuable, rare, and hard to find. However, I am building a Lego Knights display, and I think that this would look really good next to my Lion Knights castle. I looked up the price of value on Bricklink for this, which is the Lego buying and selling site, and the cheapest that you could buy this right now is about $36. So I got this for free, and if I sold it, I'd make $36. Of course, the most expensive price you could pay to get this on Bricklink is $150, but that does not really mean this is worth that much yet at least yeah you definitely don't want to pay 150 bucks for this that is a scam as for the ray the castaway promo i just really like the way it looks i think it will look pretty cool in my ocean next to my beach you can find this on bricklink the cheapest being 17 dollars, so not that bad and the most expensive being 50 dollars. again don't pay 50 bucks for this that is a scam. But that being said, um, I know a lot of LEGO fans who buy these like to keep them sealed because they're so rare and the moment you open those seals, it loses a big chunk of that value. Of course, LEGO is still valuable even out of the box and fully built, but of course it won't be worth as much as it was when it was in the box in pristine and sealed condition. However, I actually do have another copy of this set and I have another copy of this set and I think that those boxes are in a little better condition than these uh, if you look closely you can see this corner is a little messed up um, this one this corner slightly messed up so I decided hey I have two copies of this two copies of this I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open these this will go perfect in my Lego castle display. This would go perfect in my city. I'm just gonna enjoy them. So before we get into the video where I actually open these, I do ask that you please leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure to smash that subscribe button to uh, help my channel out a lot. It is costing me, you know, some money to open these because I could have just kept them sealed and they keep the value, but I'll be opening them for you guys. And now let's get into this video as I open these rare Lego sets. So I am going to take out my box cutter here. Yep, just like that. And we are going to open the forest hideout just like so. So just gonna go in here, gonna try not to damage the box. Let's see, right across. Yep. Just like that and the seals have been broken so the value the uh 36.99 at least i could get for this has just dropped dramatically drastically it's open um yeah you know let's check out some of the bags right now wow you get quite a bit of pieces for a free gift with purchase you have bag number one another number one bag that kind of goes with that then you have two number two bags right there. Of course, you got the instructions right here. Pretty cool. Lego instructions I usually get rid of and I keep the ones that I really like. I'm going to keep this for sure. Super cool. It's for the 90 years of Lego. Do I save this box? Because I have one sealed. I am inclined to save it. But, you know, I've been saving so many boxes lately. It's kind of taking up a lot of space so i'm gonna put this in a maybe pile maybe i'll keep it maybe that'll be a video deciding what boxes to keep and which to put in the trash uh yeah put it on the side keep for now all right now let's open ray the castaway this box did stand out to me of how dense it feels and how packed full of lego it is again gonna take out my box cutter by the way whenever you use box cutters make sure to put the blade inside all the way when you're not using it you know just a little safety tip from pete's bricks also when you're cutting with a box cutter never cut towards yourself always cut away so right here money shot right there all right we're just gonna one two all the way yep 
now it just lost um, all that seventeen dollars of value has just gone down you know but it's lego you gotta enjoy your stuff you can't keep everything sealed so now we're gonna empty this check out the contents of this we got the instructions right here in the all black yeah that looks pretty sleek that looks pretty cool yeah i'm gonna save these instructions too we don't have any numbers on the bags you have these bags of various sizes right there. Oh, that's a pretty cool colored green fish in that bag right there. Yeah, this, I don't regret this. I don't regret any of this. This is going to look great in my Lego city. So we've opened Ray the Castaway and we have opened the forest hideout. This is going to look great in my castle display that I've already mentioned a few times. I'm going to make a video on that when it's done. Similar to my last video, which is the Halloween special. Check that out if you haven't already. As for Ray the Castaway, I could definitely do a review on this if you guys would like to see it. And this is definitely going right into my Lego City. But with that being said, that brings us to the end of the video. If you made it this far, why not hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching. Keep building and have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video on my channel, Pete's Bricks.